Bruce, will you take it off my lap and pass them around? And if they go out, that's fine. It's windy. He in there every day! Yeah. Oh, they get rid of work. <laughs> no, Chris, those are for the stage. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> Just get the rehearsal. <laughs> Take the box and pass it around. All right, here's my speech. Well, hi, I'm Kathy, Mikey's mom. Some of you have known, some of you have always known, and some we have just met through this tragedy. Some know me through Mikey as his mom. We all have four faces to the world. I would like to start off by thanking everyone here for coming, the artists for their time and support, all those who donated to make today possible, the speakers for sharing their stories, thoughts, and love of Mikey, the mayor for opening up the day. I know I said I would try to speak about five to ten minutes. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Um, we'll see if that happens. <laughs> Lost my place. Okay. okay, I have not gotten used to being here in front, but it does help to prove one thing. You can step outside your comfort zone. So I have thought long and hard about where do I begin. Do I start by saying how hard this year has been? You should know that. Do I say, I gotta take my glasses off, it's getting too dark. <laughs> there we go. Do I talk about how disappointed Mike, is, Mike was in some people's behavior? Do I start with how disappointed I am in a few? Do I tell about the troubles and conflict Mikey felt towards a few? Do I tell about all the wonderful things I miss? I miss his laugh, his smile, his eyes, his unbelievably dark sense of humor, how we both bug the heck out of each other, <laughs> stories about forts, why he never wore jewelry, or how he has left a lot of us feeling cheated because he's gone. Or about how we argue, about how he argued with me that there was no such thing as ahead of your time. He was, of course, by having a drive, work ethic, passion before most people even start to think in those terms. We also called him a Renaissance man. He had the thirst for knowledge that most of us will never have. He had a way of seeing right into who you really are, even if you didn't know it yourself. With that being said, I would like us all to take a good look at ourselves, even if it's hurtful. Really look at what we took from him and never saying thank you or even acknowledging where we got something from him. Start now being the person to say, I learned that, I got this idea, I was encouraged by, supported by, was shown that by Mikey. His words are universal. To one person they are talking about a breakup, to another he's speaking about injustices, someone else he's thinks it's drugs, and still to another, he is talking directly to them about themselves. That is the true test of a good song. It means so many to so many different people. This is one reason his words will last beyond his life. They, these universal themes, which make good books, good songs, Mikey understood that. As humans, we all have the need to be loved, find peace, and have some meaning to our life. Mikey was very good at making us feel he was talking to us, looking into our lives and finding the common ground as humans. So this past year has been one heck, one heck of a year, not only seeing the things and the behaviors that Mikey and I talked a lot about, but understanding the frustrations Mikey felt. See, I now had some of those same frustrations. One thing I didn't know that has surprised me is some of the nice things Mikey had to say about me to you. We had conversations about me always being there for him, how he felt I was the one true supporter of his music. Even he and his grandma talked about him not feeling at different times she was supportive. No unfinished business there. <laughs> but what I didn't know, never heard from him, is what you have told me, what he has said about getting strength from watching me make hard choices reinventing myself, and even when I made a poor choice, owning up to it. 
these weren't things he told me. He talked to me about you. I have seen this past year some people return to the behavior that frustrated Mikey. He knew you were better than that. I have sat back and watched some people retreat into negativity and anger. Yet I have found some peace in how so many people have stepped up to keep Mikey's ideas alive and moving forward. My family and I will never be the same. I'm not sure my mom remembers, but when Mikey was a baby, I told her I could see the good qualities from us, his family, in him. That's when I started telling him, take the good out of everything and everyone and leave the bad. Now sometimes that bad was so twisted within the good, but he became very intuitive at pulling them apart. That wisdom is something I have not been able to do, which may be my lesson in all of this. Each of us has been given a lesson by Mikey, and it is now up to us to figure out what it is and how to make a better choice. There are things and feelings that I will never be able to share, and Mikey knew that. He knew no matter what, I would always do what's best for him, and I will. As I go forward with Mikey's plans, it will be a slow process because I'm not Mikey. I don't have the knowledge. I do have, in his own words, in his own handwriting, what he wanted to do. I just don't have all the how to do it. Some of you have the same information. Mikey talked to everyone about his ideas, thoughts, even how he wanted to do something in music. I hope that those who have used the ideas, thoughts, will stand up and give credit to where credit is due. And I'm not stupid. I do understand <laughs> that we all have our own view of our interactions with Mikey. I have an advantage on some of you because I was there when he was talking to you. I heard what he said, how he put it, and then he would talk to me about what your conversation was. So many of us relied on him, some more than others. For me, we were each other's sounding board. He would tell me anything and everything. I knew who, why, when he was disappointed in things, including me. I knew when he was happy or excited about something or someone. Mikey left us with a great gift and a great sorrow. Each of us must choose what we will focus on and how we will honor what we choose. My hope is we choose his gifts, acknowledge they came from him and the world, and move the world forward. So did you enjoy today? If you think this was fun, oops, sorry. If you think this was fun, emotional, or meaningful, just wait to see what I do next year on his birthday. Yeah. I hope everyone got a chance to see the bench and the picnic table. The bench is across the street by the porta potties, and the picnic table is the last one over there. So thank you all for coming and attending. Please be safe and enjoy your evening. And I was supposed to drop the mic, but I can't hold it, because Mikey used to drop the mic. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Have a great night. Thank you.